Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2020 Shelby Super Snake in the Super Crew Cab configuration. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this Shelby Super Snake in the Super Crew. Lots of supers, but let's just get straight into the video. Under the hood, they've upgraded quite a bit. So they upgraded the heat exchanger, the throttle body, the fuel injectors, and the spark plugs, as well as this massive carbon fiber tube to the performance air intake. And then this has a massive Whipple supercharger on the five liter V8. So it puts out a total of 770 horsepower. Now they don't give a torque figure, but my assumption is, is this has at least over 600 pound feet of torque, just judging by what most supercharged V8s put out that have over 700 horsepower. So yeah, just overall a crazy little setup. And then no that they've powder coated the supercharger in the performance blue which i think looks absolutely fantastic obviously it matches the rest of the truck which is pretty cool but yeah crazy setup underneath now would you look at that we got real air intake action happening here now let's actually go over the front end of the super crew super snake i just want to say super bunch anyways you've got the massive performance air intake there at the top of the hood it just looks absolutely fantastic got a little supercharged badger on the side and then the shelby logo just down below with the racing stripes looks really good with the blue paint here on the truck and then since this is built off of a higher end package compared to the single cab super snake i reviewed you actually get full led lights with the led reflector lights got that shelby f-150 770 horsepower badge so everyone knows you're rocking the bad boy fog lights just down below and then you've got this cool front splitter here again front splitter on the truck it does say shelby on it but yeah overall the front end of this truck is insanely aggressive like i don't know if there's any other truck on the market that looks as aggressive as this does from the front end now coming on the side here we've got 22 inch wheels that have 305 millimeter tires wrapped around them in the front and over in the rear as well. Now this truck has been lowered by Shelby and then they put performance coilovers in the front and then they put performance shocks in the rear with an adjustable sway bar also in the rear just to help the truck handle a lot better. But yeah, just crazy setup. And then you guys can see the red brake calipers here with the Shelby logo on them. Another cool little touch. And the rotors might not look that large, but remember, 22 inch wheels. So the wheels are just massive. And they kind of went for like that old school chrome theme with the wheels. Yes, that vent is functional. And then you got the little super snake stripe there. Shelby at the end on the side. But other than that, here's the full side view. And it might not look as crazy as the single cab, but I still think it's a really good looking truck from the side. Let's actually go over the rear of the Super Snake. So you can see we've got these nice LED lights here, which is pretty cool. Another Shelby logo there. And then you've got the racing stripes that are over the little bed cap, which I think is a really cool feature. And then yes, it comes with the bed caps. You can protect your cargo in the rear. And then you guys saw it has the automated tailgate. And then the racing stripes lead to yet another Shelby logo just down below. And then we do have parking sensors here in the rear with the dual exhaust tips. And yes, this exhaust sounds amazing. You guys will hear the little revving clip a little bit later. And then in terms of the towing capacity, I looked and looked and everything seems to say that this tows around 10,000 pounds. Um, but if you're actually planning on towing with this truck, then I would just double check on that. And then in terms of the payload, everything seems to say around 1,100 pounds. But again, I would just double check with that before you start loading up the truck. Let's actually go over the door panel here in the rear. So you got the matte carbon fiber and then you got the gloss carbon fiber just down below that's been added by Shelby. And then even around the little door handle or sorry the window control right there but anyways got the seats right here which you've got really cool red stitching on the seats i love the design here especially with the little holes that have been added in um, you've got the perforations all along down the sides of the seats and then yes they do pick up for some extra storage space but let's actually pop in so stepping in since this truck's been lowered it's super easy to get inside the truck tons of leg room and then i've got a good i mean if i lean all the way back um, i fit pretty well back here i'm 511 and then there is yet more carbon fiber trim you got the little charging area here with like a full power outlet all that stuff heated seats a couple cup holders and then yes you get your custom super snake floor mats which is pretty cool but this is the rear now here's the door panel at the front so you can see we've got soft touch here where you're actually going to rest your arm more carbon fiber trim next to the matte carbon fiber trim and you got the carbon fiber trim all around all of the window controls and the mirror adjustments as well this does come with memory seats and then coming to the seats here at the front again you get the same beautiful stitching got the super snake right there so that you remind yourself and your front passenger that you got the bad boy truck 
perforations all throughout. And then I noticed the actual red through the uh, hole, which is I think a pretty cool little touch. Um, really nice bolsters here on the bottom of the seats. Got the power adjustments here on the side of the seats. Beautiful pedals here in the truck. And then they are adjustable. You've got little parking brake, light control just above, more carbon fiber trim with the mirror lights. The steering wheel is automatically adjustable. And there's one more look before we actually pop in. Now here's the steering wheel inside the Super Snake. So you've got the soft touch all around the steering wheel. They haven't changed anything from a regular Lariat to this package. You've got your volume controls here with, again, more of that cool carbon fiber. This does come with adaptive cruise control. And then you've got your voice command controls right over there. You do have the stock for the turn signal and the windshield wipers on that side. Um, but other than that, there is your steering wheel in the Super Snake. You've got the center gauges here and you have Carol Shelby's signature right there. And you've got the Shelby logo on the other side. And there are a couple different menus you can scroll through here in the center screen. Let's get the, I mean, obviously this doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but let's get the fuel economy. 7.3 so far, doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, you guys can see all the other stuff. And yes, this has off-road status, but like this is the one truck I'm gonna say, don't take this off-road. Like this is, this is not meant for off-roading, but I like the overall look of the little gauge cluster setup right there. We do have the infotainment system here. You can see you've got the stability controller there at the top. You get a little camera button with the hazard lights, and then you do have the auto stop start. Yes, this comes with auto stop start, and yes, you can turn it off. Um, with the camera system, it's a pretty good camera system. You actually have a bird's eye view, and then you do have a view at the front. It's cool to see the uh, little, um, stripes there in the camera view. I think that's another nice little thing. You press it again and then it'll give you just kind of a full view at the front, which is actually pretty nice, right? Since this truck is so low to the ground, you wouldn't want to scrape the front end if you're trying to go into a parking spot. And then popping it into reverse, you do get a backup camera. You can zoom in on the receiver hitch just like every other F-150. Um, functions the same. You got the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. So overall, the camera system's really solid. And then as for the infotainment system, it's just a normal Ford infotainment system. So response time on it's good you've got your dual zone climate controls and this also does come with yes the little heating heated steering wheel control that you can turn on via the infotainment system so it's pretty much just like a normal lariat from that perspective now i've got some more controls down here so you've got the little radio controls in that area and then you have a full power outlet over here and then just down below we've got the dual zone climate controls you do have heated and cooled seats for the truck which is a nice little luxury feature and then coming over here yes this truck does have four-wheel drive so you got the two-wheel high the four-wheel auto the four-wheel high and the four-wheel low with a locker in the rear which I mean, obviously that's for the off-road, but uh, maybe you could do uh, turn that on and do some uh, donuts. I, you didn't hear that from me. Anyways, got the little trailer backup system as well, but that's all for that little area. Now we do have a bunch of stuff happening here. We do have the shifter for that 10-speed automatic transmission that's paired to the 5.0 V8. Functions just like any other Ford shifter. You do have a manual mode. If you wanna shift the gears yourself, you do have to use a little shifter right there. And then you've got all the carbon fiber trim here, the matte carbon here on this little center lid, opening that up. You've got some extra storage space in there with a couple of USBs and then you just uh, press it again and then it covers it back up. A couple of cup holders, but yeah, just look at all of the carbon fiber here. And this is my favorite part. I just love how this feels. Shelby F-150, 770 horsepower, got the snake on top and it just looks really cool. But the center console is unchanged other than the fact that you have the carbon fiber leading up to it. Um, but yeah, that snake, just such a cool little thing. And then you get another Carol Shelby uh, signature right there and then you actually get your little number here for the truck which is pretty cool obviously these are limited edition and then glove box and also well there's more carbon fiber behind and then you've got the stitching here at the top of the dash now up top here we actually have a power sliding rear window definitely a nice little feature right there sunglass holder full panoramic sunroof we are living the life of luxury in this shelby truck and then you've got the controls for the sunroof you've got your light controls all the normal stuff that's going to come with an f-150 and then you do have a black headliner so here is the option list on this Super Snake Super Crew. You guys can freeze the frame on any part of this video so you guys can read all of the individual options. I kind of went over most of the stuff in the walk around, but there's a bunch of little things you guys can read exactly what this does. And then yes, you need at least 91. And then the total price is $106,625. With that all being said, let's take this Super Crew Super Snake out and see how it drives.
Well, let's talk about visibility here in the Super Snake before we set off. And before we get into visibility, was that not like the best sounding truck exhaust of all time? The Borla exhaust on this just like if I had more thumbs up, there'd be more thumbs up. But anyways, visibility of the hood's a little bit uh, interesting. Obviously, you have that massive like venting and everything on the hood. So it does raise it a little bit, which gets in the way. But it's pretty easy to get used to it. And remember, this does have that little front camera. And I just noticed there's a carbon fiber on this little part, too. That's lots of carbon fiber. Visibility through both the mirrors is pretty good, and they do come with blind spot monitoring. And then you got visibility all throughout the rest of the rear, which again is really good, and most trucks are. And that all being said, well, let's set off. So we are initially setting off here in the Super Snake Super Crew, and I'm gonna make a lot of comparisons to the single cab that I recently drove this year because I feel like this truck's gonna be a lot different um, just from a driving experience. I mean, it's a longer truck, it's a bigger truck, it weighs more. Um, it has all of the luxury features that that truck doesn't have, which is definitely nice. I feel like this is the uh, daily driver Super Snake, whereas that's like the uh, Super Snake that you pretty much only get if um, you just want like a race truck and you're, it's like a weekend toy basically. Man, you know what? We should uh, rename this channel to Ben Hardy Reviews Cars while driving by people who wreck their cars because it seems like lately, at least, almost every single video that I filmed, it, there's like a car accident or something that uh, happens before filming, which is kind of interesting. Um, but the first thing I'm noticing with this truck so far is in terms of the sound, um, it sounds more like a normal truck. The other one had the side mounted with the single cab, whereas this, you just have the regular exhaust out the back. Um, so you don't hear as much exhaust as you do in the super cab. And I feel like this just has more sound deadening um, compared to the super, or not the super cab, sorry, but compared to the single cab. And so, yeah, just overall, kind of just a little bit of a uh, different experience with the driving. But I'll get back to you guys once I get out of this traffic. So we are getting on the interstate now, and I kid you not, there is a cop car. Boom, right in front of us. So, I mean, if he's in front of us now, he can't pull us over if we accelerate. Am I right, guys? <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, getting up onto the highway initially definitely rides smoother um, compared to the single cab. But now that we've uh, created some space with us and... Mr. Officer here, we'll get an acceleration. Wow. So I can't go uh, fully to red line um, because this truck does have a break-in period. Um, so you can go just up to 4,000 RPMs and then you do have to pull off the throttle if you guys are wondering. So sadly, I can't take it all the way up to red line. Obviously that would give us a full demonstration of the power and all that. But yeah, just up to 4,000 RPMs. I mean, it is crazy. I'm gonna take it um, into the manual mode um, just to kind of see how that is. Manual mode's pretty good. Yeah, that is sweet. That sounds so good. It says this nice beefy sound. I'm actually gonna open up um, the rear window just so that we can Get a little bit more sound into the cabin. See how that kind of is. Yeah, it's got such like a nice, uh, just burbly, aggressive uh, V8 sound. It's just in the downshifts. Yeah, it's such a good sound. So, listen to this, guys. Gosh, that sounds so good. Yeah, this engine is just, it sounds good. It revs up nicely. You know, at least what I can use of the rev range. And this rides so much smoother than that Super Snake uh, single cab. Like this is significantly smoother. You could definitely daily drive this truck, 100%. I, about the Super Snake, you guys remember I said that, yeah, not really, It's it just rides so harsh. Whereas this, sounds so good um, but it rides really smooth like this truck's really well put together and that actually get me into summing things up with this super crew super snake and, and don't worry guys I'll leave the uh, rear window open so you guys can still hear the uh, beautiful exhaust um, so first off from an exterior appearance aesthetic, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm not a fan of chrome, but I still feel like it looks really good, even with chrome wheels, which I'm not, again, I'm not a huge fan of. And then in terms of the interior, I love all the stuff that they've added to this truck. The matte carbon does throw things off a little bit on the interior, but it's not, a, I mean, you could easily change that out to gloss carbon if you wanted. And then from the performance standpoint, 770 horsepower, this thing's crazy. One of the fastest trucks, pretty much like the fastest truck in the market other than the single cab version of this truck. So it's just insane. 
Um, and then it rides so smooth. It's got a bunch of nice creature comforts. So I'm gonna say this, I think this is the super snake to get. I know everyone's obsessed with a single cab because it's a little bit faster because it's lighter weight, but this truck is actually usable. You could drive this every single day. So you could actually have access to 770 horsepower every single day. And that's why this truck is way more appealing to me. And you have some back seats so you can take your friends along for the ride as well. Just make sure you don't exceed that uh, 1100 payload capacity, 1100 pound payload capacity. So choose your friends wisely. Um, but yeah, this truck overall, I think this is a uh, great package and I will uh, leave you guys with uh, one more little thing out of the exhaust. Hopefully we can downshift in time to get this. Yeah, God, it's beautiful. This is amazing. This is really an amazing truck. Now that is gonna sum things up on this 2020 Ford F-150 Super Snake. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this Super Snake. Check out their inventory in the link below. They do carry all of the Shelby slash Tuscany stuff. So obviously they've got like the Super Snake here. They've got some Black Ops. Uh, F-250s and F-350s, 450s, a bunch of stuff happening there. And then you can see Shelby Raptors. And then we've got some more Super Snakes just uh, over there. So definitely check them out. They have, they have a bunch of cool stuff here.